Case services are a unique feature to Crosstracks that allow you to customize your investigations according to how you work, your workflow, and how the information flows through your company. In order to get to the case service section, click on settings. And then under the case customization area, you'll see service down here towards the bottom. Click on that you'll be taken to your case service list. Now, what are case services? Case services are the individual services that you perform for a particular type of case. As an example, let's say you do a process service. So the case type is the process serving. The services that you might perform for that type of case would be locate, you may run a database, a vehicle search, the actual service of the document, that is a case service as well. For further clarification, if you do insurance investigations, as part of that insurance investigation, you may have 30 or so services that you perform for an insurance case. Now, this doesn't mean that you perform these services on every single investigation. These services are simply available for you to select and assign to your staff for this particular type of investigation. With the insurance example that I just mentioned, you may run a vehicle search, you may do surveillance, you may do a witness canvas, you may interview witnesses, you may conduct an interview at the insured or take photographs of an accident scene. Those are all services that would be underneath a case type and on your case services list here. If you want to learn more about case types, there's a video called Case Type Settings in our tutorial library. That video also discusses how you can add case services to a certain case type so you can choose them in the future. So on your case service list, you have the three columns, abbreviation, name, and category. Those are self-explanatory. The case service category at this time doesn't really serve a purpose. That's done for some future development ideas that we're considering. The license required column designates whether or not the system should check to see if the investigator assigned to perform this service is licensed or if a license is required. You can designate yes or no on that. The next column over is active and that designates whether or not this case service is active or not. The first icon here is the log and this lets you know about any changes that were made to a certain case service over the life of the system. So if something changes, you'll be able to be notified and figure out who made that sort of change. Here you have your edit icon and then the delete. You'll see the difference in these trash can delete icons. If the icon is grayed out, that means that that case service is currently being used in your system and you cannot delete it. I'm going to click on the edit icon and we'll go through and edit a case service. Here's the abbreviation in this first field. You can name the service anything you want. As I mentioned before, the case service category is something that is currently here for future development purposes. You can designate whether a license is required for the person performing this case service, whether or not it's active. Here's the case documents. Let's say you open an asset investigation and you need three documents to be automatically added to that case file. Let's say it's a, a release from the subject, uh, a letter from the client and a document that needs to be submitted. You can have those three files automatically included in the case files. I'm going to add an interview as a case service. I've came up with the abbreviation, put interview here. I've categorized it as a part of an insurance or SIU investigation. The license is required. I want it to be active. The invoice item refers to the amount that you are going to charge the client as a standard. As we've talked about before, you can customize this rate for clients. I've set this at $75 an hour. 
The expense item is the amount you're going to pay the investigators to conduct this type of service as a standard. Here I've put $25 an hour and once that's complete, I'm going to click submit. Once you finish submitting this information, you're going to click on submit and it'll take you back to your case service list. Now you have this case service list. I'm going to show you two places where this list also populates in the system. The first is settings and invoice and expense items over here under billing invoicing. You click on that, you'll see that these same services that were on the previous list are also located here. This is where you designate what you bill the client for and what you pay the investigator. This case is one we've been working on throughout our tutorial series. And this one is assigned for a surveillance service as of right now. I'm gonna go in and edit the case. I'm gonna scroll down to where the current case service is. Let's say the client wants some other services performed on this case, or we wanna add services to the investigation. We'll click on the plus sign over here on the right hand side that says add case service. As part of this investigation, we've added this background check. I'm also going to add another service, which is going to be a gym canvas. I'm going to enter that information and then I'm going to click submit. Now in the service information on the case detail screen, we can see the services that need to be performed for this investigation. We have the surveillance that was already existing. We have the background check and the gym canvas that we currently added. Once we get into assigning the case to the investigator, we can go in and assign these individual services to different people. Let's say Bob's going to conduct the background check and Tina's going to conduct the gym canvas. We can assign those tasks to two different people. So just to recap under settings, you have case services that you can customize and these are individual services that you perform as part of a larger investigation. You can edit, delete, and customize the information in each case service. You can change the rates for these services in the invoicing and expense items. You can have documents that are available to be uploaded automatically when a certain type of service is required as part of an investigation. In your case detail screen, your services are located on the right hand side under service information and you can have as many services as part of an investigation as you'd like. As we talked about, every service that is available is not performed under every type of investigation. They're just available for you to choose and assign certain services to certain staff members so that you can keep your investigations flowing and ensure that all of your clients' instructions are followed and all of the services that are requested are performed on your investigations.